Northwest, we are going to go citrus crazy. Paul will be in the kitchen. Right. <laughs> as citrus crazy with Claire Mancha. Paul? Well, I'll tell you what, Kathy. Claire was on uh, last month, I think it was. She's our kitchen kitsch expert, and we absolutely fell in love with her because sea monkeys are wacko. Uh, Daisy's a little weird. This lady is very strange. Please welcome our kitchen kitsch expert, Claire Mancha, back to AM Northwest. Hi. Did I get it right? I mean, you are a little, little bit off plumb well, I here. I find myself totally normal, but I do get reports that I'm a little over the did, top. Did you get good response to your last appearance? Yeah, on? I'm back. I mean, that works. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going citrus crazy at your house. I am. Right I'm doing my TV show, and I had all these left over. And since you called me like Careful 48 hours of notice, <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd do this since it was already prepped. So <laughs> my deal is that I think. You know, oranges are good, but the peel is way more fun. Uh -huh. So you can do all kinds of stuff with it. And the see, this is my little kingdom of peel here. And what you first thing you do is train your family or your friends on how to eat these, or how to peel these things, how to eat them, so you can actually have use for them. So train your family, train your friends. My work is uh, already trained. They're like, Claire, I'm eating an orange. So I'm like, okay, you know the routine. <laughs> so you take the ends off like that, and then you. Make little scores. It's just an, an easy, cool way of peeling it. Just so an you easy way to peel it. Usable on. stuff towards the end. So How do you do it without leaving all that white stuff? Is that the orange or is that the peeler? That's that... called the pith. Yeah. And that on the peel, you mean? Yeah. No, th when it's there's too much of this after you. Oh, you sissy, get over it. It's good for you. It's full of <laughs> it's full of vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay. Hey, Kevin, so you're not a part of this segment. <laughs> you just keep it to yourself over there. Okay. So then what you do is you have all this peel and you stick it in a bag and you put it in your refrigerator and then when you get, the muse strikes you then you can work on it and this is like about a day's worth of work. So I'll just put it off until it gets rotten probably. But and then uh, you can have kids. You wait, can have, wait. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you got to entertain your friends. So does okay. there any wonder why we had her back? Now that's how you entertain. Woo! <laughs> okay, so then why, why are we saving? Those? We are saving these because you're going to make candy. Are you ready for oh. sugar? What time is it? 9:45. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so there's all these things. So you can, when you peel these up, you put them in successive baths and you candy them, and you get all kinds of candied peel. And well, let's just shove it on this, <laughs> so you can see what it looks like. And you can do it in powdered sugar, or you can do it in crystallized sugar. Have one. They're fabulous. How, how do you do this? And if you're you, oh, you cut them in strips and you put them in three successive baths to leach out the bitterness, and then you make it in a uh, two to one sugar to water solution. And you're basically here. Try this one. It's chocolate. And then if you really want to make your friends lose their mind, you dip them in chocolate. And then I had this horrible. So I'm eating orange peels. Yeah. Yeah. These are very good. Yeah, and then I had this experiment when I was like, I don't know, talking to my friend Sue or something, and they mm. turned a mush in the water, so I made candy. Here, try this one. Mmm. <laughs> okay, then, it's all serendipity, folks. You gotta treat life like a big old treasure hunt. You mean you didn't know you were making candy until it turned a mush yeah, in the water? Pretty much, yeah, it just happens. <laughs> and then, the other thing you wanna do is, you wanna, you, you know the orange peel and, and lemon peel that's in the store that's like a million dollars a pound? Get serious here, we're doing some, <laughs> we're teaching here. <laughs> So you, you buy take peels in the store? I'm trying to keep up here. Yeah, it's expensive, so I'm too cheap. So I didn't I know like... you could buy orange peels in the store, nor would oh, I want Oh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah, it's standard. That's because mm. you don't bake. <laughs> okay, so you peel all this stuff off, mm -hmm. you stick it in your oven or mm -hmm. whatever, dry, air dry it, and then you end up with this, Ugh. which is, smell that. Oh, that is a very nice smell. Very oh. orangey. <laughs> yeah, it's orange peel. Mm -hmm. And then... That's all pretty. But then you stick it in this bad boy, and I bought this at a thrift store for $2.99, and I have three of them. One for cloves, one for citrus, one for coffee. You know, it's cheaper to buy them than clean It's a coffee grinder. It's a coffee. It's a grinder. Mm -hmm. So you stick your peel in there, and you go, like that, mm -hmm. and then you end up with all different kinds of peels. Mm -hmm. Smell this. Here. Okay. You can tell by the color, but... Is it dill? Lime. Oh, it's dill. lime. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. So then we have, um, okay, wait, 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 move over. We, all right, all right. So you end up with all these oranges. I've obviously lost control. And, <laughs> cool. and 
you have all these oranges, so you're going to make a fabulous fruit salad with all the guts. Can we stop for just one no. second? Back up. What are we going to do with all this put stuff? Put them in your baking and stuff. You oh, put them okay. in uh, cakes, candy stuff. And this is uh, kirschwasser, which is uh, cherry liqueur, and mm -hmm. it's fabulous. My mother always uses this on fruit salads. So you take it and you throw it in your fruit salad. <laughs> You're going to be eating this, so you just... I am not. Oh, yeah, you are. Here, look, you get Montana. <laughs> mm -hmm. Say Montana pretty. Try that. Tell me that's not incredible. I, I will try it in just a second, but first you have to do one thing for me. Put on your glasses. I just love you in your glasses. <laughs> Ready? Where are they? Is this a look? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not funny. <laughs> no, Claire, you're the best. Will you come back and, and show us something else I don't understand sometimes? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Claire Mancha, oh, our kitchen you. kitsch expert, going citrus crazy this morning on Animal Express. Thank you, Claire. You're welcome. Did you try that? It's good.